All right, we're here with Dinesh Paliwal, the CEO of Harman International, the uh, number one car audio company in the world and lifestyle consumer audio headphones um, and this beautiful Dodge Viper. Um, I want, your business has changed a lot. What, what is changing? What are automakers looking for that you can help them differentiate in the luxury segment, mid-luxury? People have come to realize a lifestyle. Lifestyle is totally connected. Totally connected means the three Ps. That's the pads, the parts, the phones. These three are all the time connected. When you're walking, or you're in office, or you're home, or in the car, that brings us in the car, because that means car companies are asking Harman, give us the same connected lifestyle, but in a safe and sound manner in the car. That puts tremendous technological challenges, which is what we are responding, like in this car, Dodge Viper. Here you have 150 cloud-based applications. You don't have to touch the screen. They will be speaking to you, and you can trigger them with a speech recognition, which is also done by Harman. Other thing which we are doing in the car, since more and more will be delivered like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, to you through audio, that puts a tremendous pressure on audio quality in the car. And car is not a place where you can really maximize the best environment. So there we have some 1,500 patterns in digital signal processing and noise cancellation. So we cancel the noise in the car. And we also have taken a next step, which is about to come in a commercial space. When you hear music, all of you, music in these devices is compressed. Compressed means 90% of the music fidelity is completely destroyed to accommodate. That means you're hearing in the car that lousy music or anything coming over the internet cloud is also compressed. So we have seven patterns which allows us to reauthor how your voice or your music or your media was developed in the first place. We reauthor it and we at the full fidelity we reproduce and that is our technology called quantum logic and signal doctor. We first launched that in Geneva Auto Show in March 2011 in Ferrari FF. Ferrari so, you're, so you're taking you're taking already compressed audio and then enhancing it? Oh, you're uncompressing it. Totally uncompressing it. The example is when you have a PowerPoint file of 10 meg yeah. and you do a PDF version, you get a 1 meg version. You lose 9 meg. Why? Because you lose a lot of document fidelity, and the same thing happened in content, video content, audio contents. So we're putting in a lot of DSP for audio, video to bring in the car, and providing all the social media through audio, and that's where comes our company called AHA. AHA Mobile is a Palo Alto-based company. We acquired it. AHA is a specialized company to bring all the content as a content aggregator and provide you in the car. When we say hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, you should not be seeing a screen. You should not be touching a screen. That's our philosophy. So we need. It sounds like all this, all this choice and options and technology in cars, entertainment, infotainment. We need to get to the driverless cars so that we could not have to worry about driving at all. It seems like a car should be just for having fun in, right? It sounds like that's where we're going. Where this driving is the least important thing you're doing. That's precisely, and that means again, more electronics, more software, more. 360, I mean, we provide on Ferrari, I mean, Porsche I drive, I have a 360 cameras, live cameras, and depending on which way you turn, the cameras have a high granularity fidelity. So more information has to be processed in the cloud, provided to the car engine. That means car engines have to become smart. That means a lot more software. An example, BMW 7 Series or Mercedes S-Class, we write three and a half million lines of code today. Imagine what more is coming, and therefore, as I said to you earlier, we have $16 billion worth of backlog, which will be shipping all the way up to 2018. That backlog would not look like what you're seeing today. That would be more cloud-based, more driverless car, but I don't like the idea. I enjoy driving. Even in 2020, 2015, we want to push the envelope, so we want to have a driverless car, and I'm all standing for it, but I think we need to provide driver all the feature and safety so he or she can drive and still be connected. Now, speaking of connection, when are we going to get cars that, that speak to the internet all the time where you don't need to use your phone as the access? It's a car. Bruce, this car is the first car in the world, first, ahead of German, ahead of Japanese car, which has a built-in modem and it's always connected. So you may enter in the car as a driver or passenger with no device in your pocket. This is connected. So you pull up to the Verizon store with your car and you, you, you subscribe to the car? This particular one is we collaborated with Sprint uh -huh. and we collaborated for the, for the network provider and we collaborated with the Sierra Wireless 
and of course Harman, and the vision came from the Chrysler Fiat. Right. So this will use your network, your provider data plan, whatever you have. But let's say you're a Verizon user, you go into a territory, there's no Verizon network, this will switch to whichever way is available. Your car is a hotspot, and the people sitting next to you, they actually using the full Wi-Fi, and you could, they could be doing gaming and day trading, what have you, it's a hotspot. So it's a 4G car or 3G? This is 4G car, 4G where car. 4G is available, and we are actually writing our connectivity modules for LTE and 4G, okay. which will be released in BMWs and Mercedes and Lexuses. Dinesh, thank you very much. You're very welcome, Bruce.